on this one I'm trying to give the legs a bit of a break um, predominantly upper body core as always um, again yeah if you're not in kind of lockdown these are home workouts from the old COVID the good old COVID times so I'm starting first with my um, it's a bit of a, I guess a little bit of loose flow work but in the background I'm trying to work on my pipe push up position but just trying to build some single arm strength here as well so um, also working a little bit of ankle mobility so a couple of things going on but it's just to get the body moving um, so what I'm doing here is trying to extend through the lower back a little bit of um, rotation as well kind of touch the opposite toes or the opposite ankle very more so toes I guess um, when this is done then I'm just going to throw in some uh, three point rows just any kind of um, rowing work again um, because the situation has got around for a lot of us right now possibly we probably need to work on scap retraction and building strength throughout the upper back so probably can't really overdo um, upper body pulling work at the moment a lot of us are limited in terms of upper body pulling work no access to chin up bars or gymnastic rings or TRX so again getting a set of these in um, on the way down I can let my scapula protract go towards the floor but I don't really want to be using uh, my torso to initiate a lot of movement i.e. I'm not twisting too much here so scap retraction squeeze scap protraction lengthen I'm gonna go for about 12 each side on this one So when the rows are done, just in the theme of um, postural and upper back work, scap work here, I'm just going to do a few prone uh, scap circles. Um, I'm not sure. I've heard people call these black burns, but I don't think they are black burns. Um, but again, I'm trying to work through, um, I work elevating my arms through the small muscles on my upper back around my shoulder blades. I'm not looking to try and get movement or range here by um, really kind of overarching or using my lower back muscles or using the glutes too much, trying to get the lower back and the glutes pretty much relaxed here, trying to get all that elevation just through the muscles around the shoulder blades, or squeezing the shoulder blades towards each other. So just five of these will do, we'll do three rounds of this then, and on to second block, so this is the mechanical um, drop sets, so I'm doing feet elevated push ups here, so what I'm doing for here is I'm going to, I'm going for um, 10 repetitions I believe on this one, maybe it's 15, I can't remember. Anyway, the whole point of the mechanical drop sets are that what I want to do is I want to start in the kind of, I guess, the the hardest uh, variation of the movement first. So we have the, you know, the kind of at a disadvantage kind of in terms of, um, you know, body weight, lever length, whatever else too. Again, I'm no um, physicist um, or engineer, but basically feet up. Um, you can have a, as we go through the sets here, you might take a little, you might need to take a little longer recovery between each movement, but. We can go straight into the next piece too. So feet elevated push-ups into standard push-ups. And I'm gonna go into dips. Um, again, as I said, you know, you can take a little break between each variation, but try and minimize that. And you know, um, again, if we're getting tired on these running three sets, if we are getting tired, I would sacrifice the repetitions to maintain decent range of movement. Speaking of range of movement through it, uh, due to um, old jujitsu injuries, I can't extend my right arm. Fully, so give me a little bit of a break here. I am trying to lock out, but um, yeah, arm bars, I can't do that anymore. So when we've done this, we probably want to take a couple of minutes recovery because your arms won't be worked and um, shit after the first round probably. If you do it properly and are honest with the rep ranges. Um, but what we can do in between sets is um, just bang out a set of curls, single arm curls, double arm curls, whatever we want to do. Um, I'm getting paranoid that I'm shrinking uh, in the middle of all this lockdown, so uh, got to get those curls in. Um, active recovery, I love that bullshit term, active recovery, um, but that's what we're doing. So curls, 10 to 12 repetitions, again, depending on what rep range you have. Um, pick the most ridiculous, stupid grip for this. So I'm um, trying to, not going full range, because I don't want to hit myself in the crotch with the handle here. 
Um, yeah, so I'm going to go on 12 repetitions here. Then uh, another minute or so rest, and we'll go back. And again, on the mechanical um, drop sets, we're just making sure that we're keeping our, you know, our technique solid. I'd rather see a, a decrease in repetitions than letting kind of technique and form diminish too much. So we're going to go three rounds of this. Last block is a little core sequence. So we're going to start with our um, one arm front leaning rest. What I'm trying to do here, it's happening a little bit, but I'm trying not to really roll all of my weight across to my left side towards my supporting arm. I want to really try and keep my um, my shoulders level if I can here. Uh, and I'm going wider enough with my feet, obviously for balance. Uh, if my feet are narrow, I probably will be tipping my weight towards one side. So we're gonna go both sides. Again, I'm just shooting for about 20 seconds here. I'm trying to keep the glutes active and tuck the hips under. So at least neutral pelvis. We have 20 seconds done on each side. We're gonna lower it down into the running man plank. And again, just for this, I'm gonna shoot for um, 20 seconds again on each side with the running man plank. So again, we're trying to minimize the amount of trunk rotation here. Um, still a little bit of twisting going on, but I'm trying to really um, promise I'm trying to do my best to minimize that. So we'll get 20 seconds on one side here, 20 seconds on the other side as well. better on this side in terms of posture um, and then the final piece then straight into a rk and rkc a rkc and rkc plank um, and just because i was doing 20 seconds each side in the previous one it's just going to go 40 seconds here and um, you can adjust the times here if you want to yourself and for this then we're going to go for three rounds so about a minute rest we'll go again for two more sets and that's a, a nice little kind of core piece to finish the workout for today